This is why the narcissist can't let you go, even after all this time. Ever wondered why a narcissist just can't seem to let go of you, even after all is said and done? Today, we're unraveling a mystery that gets close to home for many. Why narcissists never truly forget those they've interacted with, and why you might still be on their radar. If this is your first time here, you're in the right place for deep dives into the complexities of narcissistic behavior. Narcissists leave a mark on everyone they touch. Whether you were a source of validation for them, or you unintentionally bruise their fragile ego. They hold on to every detail, and today, we're going to explore why that is. We'll break down why narcissists are so obsessed with their past connections, whether the experience was positive or negative. Spoiler alert! It all comes down to their insatiable need for control and validation. They see every interaction as a piece in their grand game of power, making you unforgettable in their eyes. Stick around as we dissect what makes you so memorable to a narcissist and why they might still be fixated on you. If you find this topic intriguing, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share your experiences in the comments. Your engagement not only supports the channel, but helps others who might be going through the same thing. Let's dive in. Number one, they hold grudges indefinitely. One key trait of narcissists is their inability to let go of grudges. If you've hurt them or caused a narcissistic injury, they'll cling to that resentment indefinitely. Even if you are no longer in their life, they are likely to keep you in their thoughts, waiting a chance for revenge. They may attempt to love bomb you, pretending that everything is fine, but their true motive is to seek retribution. If you've exposed, embarrassed, or left a narcissist, these actions make you a lasting target for their vengeful desires. Narcissists are relentless in their pursuit of revenge and will not easily forget those who have wronged them. Number two, they cherish ego boosts. Another reason a narcissist can't forget someone is if that person significantly boosted their ego. If you were someone who validated them, made them feel significant, or provided opportunities they couldn't achieve on their own, you left a lasting impression. They thrive on these moments of validation as it reinforces their false sense of self. Your admiration or support may have fed their narrative of being a hero or a victim, and even though they no longer miss you personally, they miss the ego boost and benefits you provided. The memories of how you bolstered their self-image continue to fuel their inflated ego. Number three, they lack closure. A lack of closure is another reason why narcissists struggle to forget someone. This situation is a double-edged sword, it leaves you unsettled and struggling to move on, while simultaneously keeping you at the forefront of their thoughts. Narcissists often end relationships abruptly and harshly, expecting their former partners to beg for reconciliation or linger in waiting. When you instead move on and establish no contact, they are left confused and unsettled. The very lack of closure they created to manipulate you ends up causing them frustration and obsession. Once you accept that a narcissist will never provide the closure you seek, you can begin to let go and focus on your own path forward. In summary, it's evident that a narcissist's inability to move on from someone often stems from a narcissistic wound or their need for supply. Ideally, we would prefer that they simply move forward and cease any attempts to re-establish contact. However, the most effective strategy is to refrain from engaging with them or responding if they reach out. For those dealing with narcissists and children, navigating these interactions carefully is crucial. I've created a video on how to deny a narcissist the supply they seek by not allowing them to exploit you. You can find the link to that video on the screen now and in the description below. It's important to keep in mind that while we may not have control over the narcissist's actions or their ability to forget us, we do have control over our own responses. That's all for today. I'd love to hear your thoughts and experiences in the comments. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. This is how narcissists know everything about you. Have you ever sensed that someone is keeping tabs on you even after you've severed all ties? Welcome back. Today, we're tackling a disturbing issue. The covert ways narcissists monitor you even after you've gone completely no contact. If you're new here, you've found the perfect spot for valuable insights and support. 
In this video, we'll uncover seven cunning strategies narcissists employ to keep track of their former targets. Their techniques are often subtle, making it challenging for you to even notice their surveillance. What drives them to do this? Narcissists crave control and want to stay informed about your life, especially if there's a chance they might reinsert themselves. Even when you've ended the relationship, they frequently discover ways to stay updated, hoping for a chance to re-enter your world. Let's explore those seven common methods narcissists use to secretly monitor you. Stay vigilant and keep ahead of their deceptive tactics. 1. Persistent questioning. Narcissists frequently mask their surveillance attempts with seemingly casual conversations. When they ask relentless and intrusive questions about your personal life, it's more than just friendly conversation, it's a covert interrogation. Their probing is aimed at gathering private details while pretending to show genuine interest. Be wary of how much you disclose, as their probing curiosity may also drive them to seek out information from shared contacts. 2. Financial Oversight Another tactic narcissists use is monitoring your financial situation. They might attempt to access your financial records and analyze your expenditure to reduce your autonomy. This financial manipulation is intended to make you financially dependent on them, thereby enhancing their control over you. 3. Exploiting children for intel. If you're co-parenting with a narcissist, things can become even more complicated. They might use your children to collect information about you, persuading them to share specific details. To safeguard your privacy, be careful about what you discuss around your children, as they may unintentionally relay sensitive information to your narcissistic ex. 4. Character Assassination Character assassination is a tactical approach narcissists use to damage your reputation and isolate you. They disseminate misleading information to tarnish your public image and gauge who stands by you. By observing how your support system reacts, narcissists can identify and target individuals who might offer you aid or keep you informed, using this knowledge to tighten their grip on you. 5. Online monitoring. Nowadays, social media serves as a prime instrument for narcissists to track your activities. They can effortlessly monitor your online presence without revealing their watchful eye. Narcissists might create fake profiles or even commandeer the accounts of acquaintances to keep tabs on your digital life. Their relentless pursuit to connect with you online is often driven by a desire to observe every post and comment you make. In this video, I'll explore why narcissists are keen to interact with you online and how they use these platforms for surveillance. Once they've infiltrated your digital space, their vigilance doesn't wane, they continuously scrutinize your online interactions to maintain their influence over you. 6. Technological Surveillance Narcissists often resort to technological means to oversee your activities. This can include installing spyware on your devices to access personal communications, track your location, and monitor your emails and calls. They might also employ GPS trackers on your belongings to follow your movements. Driven by jealousy and control issues, some narcissists escalate this behavior by placing hidden cameras in your home, invading your private space to observe your daily activities. 7. Direct observation. Direct observation is a more blatant approach. Narcissists may physically trail you, appearing at your work, social events, or even outside your home. They might involve others, such as friends, family, or neighbors, to covertly gather information about you under the pretext of concern for your well-being. These individuals then report back to the narcissist, feeding their need for control and information. In conclusion, narcissists are known for their relentless pursuit of monitoring you, employing various methods like social media, technological tools, and even personal networks to gather information. Their aim is to retain dominance and control over you, often operating behind the scenes. Recognizing these covert tactics is crucial for defending yourself against their manipulative behaviors. That's a wrap for today's discussion. I'm eager to hear about your experiences. Has a narcissist ever used these techniques to spy on you? Share your stories in the comments below. Thanks for watching.